Hi guys, it's Claris, and uh, this is going to be the uh, third tutorial in my Love Day series of uh, cute little items uh, that I'm painting. Items. Well, I did fruit for the last two ones with brush lettering. And this time uh, we're going to do a heart. And I've already drawn the basics um, of the heart. And what we're going to fill it in with is bulbs or peonies or blooms like peony rose type blooms i think it'll be more peonies but because it's going to be loose that's why i'm loosely giving you names of flowers that it could look like and essentially what i've done is i've like i've mentioned i've drawn the heart and i have just roughly sketched out where i want my florals to be I've done a similar tutorial like this before, except that heart was bigger and the florals in it was a lot tinier, were, were a lot tinier. This is going to be looser, smaller, bigger florals inside and quicker to do. So let's get started. For my brushes, I'm using um, my Squirrel Mop 1, my Silver Black Velvet in the 8, and then also the four. Why am I rolling away all the text? There we go. So that's what I'm using for my colors. I am going to use uh, purple, possibly some red, two types of greens, and a little bit of yellow. And I'm not going to show you the colors right now because I want you guys to kind of uh, not focus on the colors I'm using, but kind of try your own as well. Like you can use mine as a, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, as a rough idea, but please, I want you to kind of come up with your own color combinations and let's see how that flows and goes. So to start off, I will use my, I'll use, because the florals are smaller, I think I'm going to use the, no, let's just go with it. I'm going to use the 8, and I'm going to get my color, which is going to be the purple. Well, it's like a purpley red. And I'm just going to make sure that I get a lot of it on my brush, and then I am ready to add the color on here. So my bulb is facing this way. So I'm just going to do a lot of, uh, they're called, um, they're kind of like C strokes or comma strokes. So we're just going to start off like that, dipping in to get some water. And your hand muscles need to be like really loose for this. So I'm going to take more color and just dab it at the end of this and just add it in certain areas that I want to highlight. Now I'm going to take my squirrel mop brush and I'm going to, with just water on it, I'm just going to touch the bottom of this and just extend out. And this is going to be the outer uh, petals. And then I'm going to go and just lightly add some color here. And I want a variation of this just so it looks slightly a uh, variation. Um, Meaning like I want to add some purple just to kind of give it a little bit of a different like dual tone kind of feel. So I'm just going to do that and let that dry. Maybe just spread it a little bit on this floral here and just extend some here. And then using my squirrel mop brush, I'm just going to lightly do some dabs at the top to kind of make it look like it's uh, petals on the other side. 
and I want to touch the color that's right there just so it pulls from it and extends into it so we're not looking too uh, transparent all right now going back with this brush I'm gonna get more of the purple or the pink purpley pink and just add some dabs here and there just to kind of make sure it spreads nicely and then I'll just add some at the very top as well very loosely and there we go we have that peony And then I want to do the same thing for the other side. So this one I will do facing downward. So I'm going to do this. And possibly even because I want the color to accumulate at the end, I'm going to do this. And then using this brush the squirrel mop brush, I'm just going to extend a little bit out so it's very, very, very light. And then just dab some extra color at the ends here. So they kind of extend over. And I'm just going to help the inner petals by doing this. And then just adding more strokes. The majority of the strokes are literally just like um, like you're doing little C's or little arcs. Adding my purple just for that little variation in color and pop. And then, uh, you know, just to take advantage of this while it's still damp, I'm just going to go in with some green and add some leaves. Remember I said I'm using two kinds of green, so I used one and now I'm using the other. Maybe it's best to kind of just mix it on your palette so you can see the color how it turns out but like in most of my videos that I show you I'll normally lay down one color and then go over it with the other color just to get like a nice effect so it mixes see kind of like you see lighter green here and like darker green out something like that and by lighter I mean like a brighter green um, I'm gonna do that to kind of indicate this is coming from the flower and because there's not a lot of room I'm, I want to keep that shape I'm not going to go in too much with it but just at the edges and in areas where I want the green to be displayed. So for this, I'm just going to go very lightly. So I won't take any more green on my um, on my brush anymore, and I'm just going to quickly add a few very light versions of uh, greenery around. And do some here. I still have one more peony to do, so I'm gonna stop doing the green. And let's get to the last peony that I wanna do. So this one will be slightly smaller and let's make it more of the purple. So this one literally I'm gonna just 
do the C shape. And again, very loosely. Do that. And then taking this brush of mine, I'm going to just go to the edges and just add a little bit of extra. So these are the lighter petals that kind of come out. I've got a little bit too much water on here so it's not running as nicely as I'd want it to be running like the others. But it's a good thing when you have your um, your paper towel so then that helps you a bit. Now I just want to do a little bit of the pink in there. I don't have a lot left on my palette. I'm going to try and get as much as I can. And very lightly because we don't have a lot of space. So I just want to do that lightly as possible. And I'm going to add some within the center as well and just to the edges just so it can kind of go up and I realize I'm using the squirrel mop brush but I guess because it's the end and I'm literally just trying to catch it while it is still damp I'm not being too stringent about which brush I'm using now I'll use the number four and I'm just going to do the rest of the greenery and I'll be sure to add a little darker greenery on there. Now that I know where all the, flo the flowers are placed, I can be a little more specific in my putting down of the leaves, so to speak. So you always want to make them go in a direction of some sort. So it's nice to kind of, it adds some movement and such to your painting when you kind of give it a direction and they're all kind of headed in that same direction. And going to add some at the bottom here and you can add some in between as well just to give it a break with all the color happening same thing here so you kind of use your judgment and decide where you would like it to go again this is a very loose style of painting so it doesn't have to be completely perfect or look a certain way you can kind of go with the flow and uh, if you want you can even add um, a little bit of an extra floral and by that I mean like say if you want to add in a little bit of yellow and just light hints of could be like yellow flowers that are just framing the peonies almost and so it's literally just hints of color if anything that indicate that oh look these are florals as well and they are yellow just added some of the pink to the yellow and just a little bit and and 
literally this is the entire painting. So actually, this is not the entire painting. Uh, what I also wanted to do was, because these are dried up, I wanted to show you one last bit that you can do to enhance this painting. Oops, I'm just throwing my brushes now. Uh, <clears throat> that you can do to enhance this. And that's essentially just waiting for this to dry and then adding another layer of color on top just to, again, re-emphasize the petals and strokes and what have you. And um, for this we'll use... I'm just trying to think which brush we're going to use. We're going to use the... We'll use the number one in the squirrel mop brush. The reason I had to think was because we don't have a lot of space again and I don't want to use a brush that's too thick and then kind of lose out on the space. So I'm using my red that I have and I'm going to mix that in with some of the purple that I already had and that gives me like a reddish purple and I'm fine with using that. So I just want to use the same strokes but we're just enhancing the look of it. So let's start off with this one here. And so you're literally just going over. And just highlighting certain areas of your base painting. Same thing here. And for the purple one, I'm just going to get slightly more purple in it and just in the centers, you want to just dab as much color as you can just to make it slightly more saturated looking than the rest of it. And then that just gives you an idea of where the centers are. And um, I guess another thing you could do is you could even take some of the yellow that you have and just add it to the center. And this way, just like a tiny bit Nothing too ecstatic or crazy, and voila! You have your heart with uh, loose peonies and florals. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have any um, <coughs> questions or suggestions, I am happy to respond. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and um, yeah keep forgetting. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook if um, you have images that you'd love to share with me because I love getting your images and I love being tagged in your posts on Facebook and Instagram just to see how you guys are doing. So thanks so much guys and we'll chat soon. Bye!